In this video, we're sharing one of our wood carving projects that has unfortunately gone very wrong. something that we, were, we would have been in sort of two minds in some ways about sharing because it's one of those things where you know we're, we're working with woods we're making love spoons all the time and you know you'd like to sort of think that you never make any mistakes you never got anything wrong um, but we're all human and we're working in a material, in a natural material. Uh, and from time to time, things, things are gonna happen, things are gonna go wrong. So in, in this example, um, this love spoon, I actually, yeah, I was right at the end. <laughs> I'd actually spent, it's, it's between 10 and 12 hours that had been spent working on this love spoon. And I was just finishing off the bowl and it sort of flicked out of the vice and it landed on the floor and because you know I've grown up around the workshop you you know certain things and one thing we know is the sand and as soon as the spoon hit the floor it, it caught in that sweet spot and I knew straight away I was in trouble so I checked the spoon and initially I thought, oh, I, I think I might have got away with it. And then I, I found where it had gone and it had gone wrong in a, in a very dramatic way. So how do you deal with that? Um, this is a love spoon that somebody's ordered and I, I finished carving it. It was all ready for finishing. So how do you sort of come to terms with that? Well, basically, um, this is a reality. This is the reality of wood carving. Whilst we share all sorts of different projects and people go, oh, that's, that's really nice. I'm really pleased with that. We make all sorts of spoons and they go, oh, fantastic. From time to time, it is going to go wrong. And you just have to accept that. Um, so what I had to do, um, we had to start Again, so there we go. That is that is the finished love spoon. Uh, and, and what I actually did then is when I when I redid it, I had a little look at the design, and I there wasn't a particular weakness as such in it, but the area that it had sort of highlighted, you know, where it is broken, I actually did a bit of work to make that a, a, a lot stronger. To basically take a pre precaution because you don't want it happening twice. Um, so there we are, that, that's, that's basically, you know, what, what, what has actually happened. But that's, that, you know, just as in, in life, in all sorts of different fields, you're not gonna get every single time, it's not gonna work every single time, and, and from time to time, things are gonna go wrong. But you basically gotta, you know, dust yourself off, brush yourself down and, 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 and start all over again. And that's what we, that's what we ended up doing uh, with this particular Love Spoon project. Um, so we hope, you know, we hope that others, if you're working on different projects and something goes wrong, you're not alone. You know, it, it happens to us all. Every great wood carver that you'll see, every great wood carving video that you will see, uh, I guarantee that they've got plenty of projects, plenty of things that they've been working on that haven't gone perfectly, correctly, perfect, every stage, everything has not gone fine. And it's the same, when we're, when we're working on spoons, when we're working on different projects, we will see things that sometimes, you know, you, you, you struggle to get right. I was working on a love spoon with a cat um, and the lady was in today to collect it. And I actually explained to her, I said, there we are, that cat, I carved it four times. Because the first three times that I carved it, I wasn't happy with the face. 
So you just gotta say, there we are, okay, not happy with that, carve it back out, do it again. Did it again, wasn't happy, do it again. And so I, I just think that's the, the message then that we wanna get across in this video. Wood carving and learning to wood carve, learning to make love spoons, it's a bit of a journey, as all things are in life, and sometimes, sometimes we trip over a few rocks, a few boulders along that journey, and it's all part of the process. You, you're not gonna have just plain sailing all the way. And so I felt that it was a sort of good message to share. If you are struggling with a particular project, if you've made something, and it hasn't gone as you've expected, don't worry about it. Don't let that stop you. Don't let it hold you back. Keep going and you, you, you'll you get there in the end, as we've shown. There we are. That is the finished love spoon. You know, that's, that's ready. It's a bit big to, to fit in the screen there, but that is the finished love spoon. It's ready to go. So we've gone from disaster to success. Um, and that is, that's, that's basically the, the message of this video then, is, is everybody has their ups and downs, everybody makes their mistakes, everybody gets it wrong from time to time, but it's not the mistakes that you make, it, 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 the, those things really don't matter, it's how you can actually respond to that, how can you overcome it, that is really the difference between success and failure is being able to, to get up and to get on with it and to come back and to actually get the job done. And you've just got to persevere and you will get there in the end and you will be successful. Thank you all again for watching. Hopefully that's going to be useful. If it is, put a little like on the video. Remember, anything that you want to know about, put a comment on and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all again and we'll be back again soon.